Batman, behind the scenes, take one. I'd like to share with you a behind the scenes look at this collaborative project that involved three departments within liberal arts. It involved the music department, English theater arts, and the art department. We really love to challenge the students uh, and one of the most unique ways that we can do that, real world ways, is to throw them onto a group project. It helps students really get a feel for what an actual production is like and it's not necessarily just your talent but it's how well you can work with other people. For the project for uh, Michael Uslin as our guest speaker, we uh, got the idea of doing a video of President Brown as Batman. So we storyboarded out an idea in which he fights two thugs in a bank. And then we took those boards and added some live action footage that we shot, just sort of as practice to get a better idea of timing and how the footage would eventually look. And really that's our first round of editing. Beyond that, then it goes to animation and gets more complex and detailed until it finally have the final product. Action. <laughs> whenever I first like, saw what I was gonna be doing, whenever I put all the storyboards on the table, and I like watched everybody getting their makeup and them setting up the cameras and kind of like looking around the room like what did I get myself into? But like once once everything started getting rolling, I started getting the hang of things. And you're gonna be like on the ground like this, kind of like tied up. Got a flight balance and so exposure for both cameras. The video people, they helped me a lot with like the lighting and, and the, the camera shots. So now what we're gonna do with this live action stuff is the CG animators designed this environment for him to be in. So we're gonna take the live action stuff and mix it with the 3D environments. What you do is you select all the areas of the screen that have the green color, and then you cut that away from the shot, and what you're left with is two characters with a completely blank background, and you can put any background you want in it. A lot like sculpting, you start off with a shape that's sort of a wireframe, and then you patch on polygons that then get surfaced to look like metal or dirt or rock. And then lighting that makes it look exactly how you would think it would look in real life. And that becomes a final animation. We decided that we wanted to get some of the graphic elements in to sort of replicate some of the comic book styles, the comic book frames, and a little bit of the old callback to the Adam West. So we went and contacted the graphic design department to help us out. The graphic design department uh, helped out with this Batman project by helping out the action scenes, like the, the bang, the wow, uh, really adding an extra punch. Like in a lot of other movies, the graphic design also helps with the backgrounds, touching up in Photoshop and making everything look perfect. We do a lot with posters, and advertising, basically just getting the word out to the public. Thirteen and a quarter. Well, you know, collaboration is really what theater is about. I think it's a really exciting way to work, and I think, you know, projects like this are really good examples of how the, the expertise and the interests of uh, faculty and students can be combined into a single project with great success. As far as the scenes went, it was very entertaining. Batman kept on falling out of his suit, <laughs> but we had to do uh, many takes, but at the same time it was interesting from the theater standpoint because with theater you only do one take. And all the makeup looked really good, especially the robber's eyes and the costumes were really good. When we got the chance to work on Batman, it was actually pretty exciting for me. I mean, they showed us the animatic and we got the chance to see what exactly we would be writing for. At the same time, we had to adhere to certain guidelines and stuff like we weren't allowed to write exact points like hits in the music that would match up with the movie itself because of the editing process. So we had to come up with some general music that would still sound really good when placed over top of the movie. The beginning of this part, I modeled it off of Aaron Copeland's Fanfare for the Common Man. The software we use is called Finale and uh, you open up a score and have all your instruments listed in order. All of this is original. Uh, we can take our ideas later and uh, loop them if we want, or we can copy and paste an idea from one section of the music and put it in another section if we want it to repeat. I actually knew Catherine, one of the directors. We were in string ensemble together, and we have kind of the same idea for the soundtrack to Batman to be a cross in between um, Danny Elfman's score and Hans Zimmer for the new Batmans. 
I know that we talk about education and everybody tries to figure out, you know, how do you, how do you quantify good education? What does it mean to be a good educator? Or, or how do teachers inspire students? And I know that one uh, person in, the, in my field who did a lot of work in teaching said that there's the X factor. It's, it's what happens beyond just the classroom. What else is out there? What el other experience? You run into the kids in the hallway, you do extra projects like this, really enhance their education in ways that, that, that you just can't measure. This is a good thing to be able to put on my resume. Well, we hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes look at this Batman project. So now sit back, again relax, and enjoy Batman Edinburgh style. We sure took our time today, Dr. Brown. You know, Alfred, I always like to keep the audience in suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President Jeremy D. Brown.